Hi there, everybody, and welcome to this Independence Public Library's Kids Craft. I am Mr. Alex, and today I'm going to show you how you can make some of your very own really cool Thanksgiving crafts. Turkeys and pumpkins and all sorts of cool stuff. Because at this time of year, when we're getting close to Thanksgiving, the end of fall, it's really, really nice to celebrate it by getting creative and making your own cool project. So with that being the case, let's get down to business and get out our materials so we can get started and make our really cool Thanksgiving crafts. Okay, everyone, I thought we would get started for our first Thanksgiving craft with a classic. Old fashioned hand turkey. All you have to do is get a sheet of paper or something else to draw on and then take your hand, place it firmly, squarely on the piece of paper, keep it as flat as it can on top of it, and then taking a pencil, you're going to lightly trace around your hand, around all of your fingers, taking care not to move them out of position. Then come all the way down around the thumb, and there you go you have got an outline of not just your hand, but our soon-to-be turkey. Because if you look at this, all we need to do is add a little beak, add an eye, add this little chin thing, I keep forgetting what they're called, and then add some legs. Kind of short, scrawny legs for such a big guy. <laughs> but he gets around fine. And then after this, you can take some of your favorite markers or colored pencils or anything and just color him into your heart's content. Make his feathers up here as beautiful and colorful as you possibly could want to. I love to go with classic autumn fall colors like reds, browns, oranges, yellows, all of that stuff. I think it looks really, really, really good on our turkey. But you don't have to do that. You could make your, tur your, your turkey, I don't know, bright pink, neon green, maybe purple? You can color your turkey any way you want. This is one of the absolute classic Thanksgiving kinds of crafts, and it was amazing if you and your family could all make your own special hand turkey and put them up together. Maybe put your name on the side of it. This is by Alex. So there we go, that's craft number one. Next up, we've got another turkey craft, but this time with a twist. What we're going to do is we're going to need some construction paper where we can cut out two brown circles, one slightly bigger than the other, and we're going to arrange the two of them almost as if we're making a snowman, with smaller one on top, bigger one on bottom. We're also going to need orange or similar color construction paper where we can cut out a little triangle, put that right there, and we can start to create another turkey. So as you can see right now, we've got the turkey body, we've got the turkey head. If you've got buttons or googly eyes, you can attach those to the head if you want to make eyes that way. Or if you're like me and you've got a marker or something else you can color, give your turkey two little eyes just like that. Awesome. And with all these pieces together, we're going to take either glue or tape and connect them. Whichever you prefer. The tape sticks faster, of course, but the glue might give a cleaner result. There we go, that's connected. I'm going to attach that to the nose and right there. 
there we go. So our turkey is partially done, but he looks a little he looks a little naked now, doesn't he? Because he's missing his big, nice feathers. Well, there's a cool way we can make those. So I told you this is like the last turkey that we made, but with a twist. Last time we traced our hand in order to create the whole turkey, and this time we'll trace our hands in order to start putting the feathers together. I traced my hand three times on three different kinds of colored paper to create our turkey's feathers. And just like all the rest of the pieces, we're going to tape our turkey right on there and we've got ourselves a turkey. Oh, actually he might be missing something. If you've got a red balloon or red paper, you can use it. Just like that to complete the turkey. <laughs> there you go. There's our second Thanksgiving craft. And for our final Thanksgiving craft, we are going to create what I like to call a Thanksgiving pumpkin. And what this is, is a paper pumpkin that we've created out of the things that we're thankful for. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut out a certain number of these long, thin strips of paper. I chose orange to match the color of pumpkins. And with these strips of paper, what you're going to do is on three to four of them, you are going to write out the sum of the things you're thankful for. So if we take a look at my finished one, it's kind of hard to make out what I wrote because it's all together. But you can see family, dogs, pets, my house, all of that stuff, the things that I'm very thankful for. So I want you to take these thin strips of paper and write the things that you're most thankful for. Uh, for example, I'm going to write, I am thankful for the independence library because I am I'm very thankful for the independence library With this, we have one of our strips of paper that we're thankful for. And the way that we assemble the pumpkin is when we have, say, three to four of these, we'll take each one individually and we will wrap it like this. Just create a big circle, connect the two, and then we are going to tape it together. Let me give an example on the one that's not done. There you go, once you've got your paper, you're going to tape it together just like that. And then from that point, as you add more, you're going to take them and you're going to wrap them over like this and create another circle just like you did the first one. But this one goes on top of the top and the bottom goes on top of the bottom, if that makes sense. So we're going to connect them, link them, almost like a chain. And then you would tape down here. And if you want to make it sturdier, you can tape at the top too. So let's go over here. I've got another one that's almost done. It's got my things that I'm thankful for again. As you can see, I just kept crossing them together. And there's one big opening left. So I'm going to wrap this down here all the way around in that empty spot. You can see there's a little area down there where I can connect it to. And I'm just going to take a piece of tape and stick it right there. And it gets harder and harder to do the more you, you uh, fill it up with.
from my experience, three and four seem to be the best numbers to do. I'm going to put a little tape on the top just to make sure that it doesn't wiggle around too much. And there we go. But this doesn't look much like a, thank, uh, a Thanksgiving pumpkin. This looks more like a Thanksgiving ball or basketball, actually. What we need to do is we need to add leaves and a stem. So if taking a green piece of paper or anything else you want to use, any color, cut out a couple leaves, kind of like a teardrop shape, but maybe a little bit fatter is how I think about making leaves. And then we're going to cut out two even thinner pieces of paper than the orange ones. And we are going to use these as vines. All you need to do is twist them up or curl them up. Like that. And I'm going to make this one a little less curly to make it distinct, to make them different. Perfect, and just like before, we're going to connect it together. Put it right on the top. Take the other piece of tape. And also stick it right on the top, but going a slightly different direction. Okay, so far so good, but now it just kind of looks like a tomato with a uh, fancy mustache. So, let's connect our leaves, but first I want to write on there, and you don't have to do this, you can write anything you want. I'm going to say that this is mine. This is made by me, Alex. And I'm also going to date this, just for fun. Thanksgiving 2021, I created a Thanksgiving pumpkin. And these are the things I was thankful for on that Thanksgiving. And finally, the last piece. And there we go. There is our Thanksgiving pumpkin with all of the things that I'm thankful for wrapped up together by me. Well, there you go, everyone. You now know how to make your very own Thanksgiving crafts. Everything from turkeys to pumpkins. I mean, those are my, those are my favorite things about Thanksgiving, if I'm going to be honest. Um, and the cool thing is you can experiment with these and change them up however you want. And you can express yourself when you do it. One of the coolest things I think you can do during the Thanksgiving season, if you're going to get together with friends and family, is if all of you make your own versions of crafts like this. Because then you can really express yourselves and compare with everyone else and see the kinds of things you like and see the kinds of things they like. Compare your things that you're thankful for to the things other people are thankful for, or favorite colors and everything else. It's the sharing and getting together and being with other people that's so important and very, very cool. So, with that being said, thank you guys for joining in, and I hope we'll see you again at the Independence Public Library for more really, really cool programs. Bye, everyone.